Welcome to this palms demonstration video on how to make dinosaur eggs two ways. Did you know that dinosaurs laid eggs like birds and some reptiles do? Today we can sometimes find fossilised eggs that are millions of years old since dinosaurs became extinct around 65 million years ago. Fossilised dinosaur eggs are quite rare and it's even rarer to find a baby dinosaur or embryo fossilised inside the egg like in the bottom right picture. Lots of different shaped and sized fossilised eggs have been found, sometimes in nests like the top pictures show. Studying these eggs and nests tells scientists lots about how dinosaurs lived and reproduced. This video will show you how to make two different kinds of dinosaur eggs for yourself. You'll need some adult help for this. The first kind of dinosaur eggs we're going to make are bicarb eggs. To make bicarb eggs, you'll need the following equipment. Some newspaper, a bowl or container, a spoon, bicarbonate soda, water, plastic dinosaurs, a plate or something else to put the eggs on, and you might also like to use some disposable gloves and food colouring. Put some bicarbonate soda into a bowl and if you'd like to have coloured eggs, add three to four drops of food colouring and stir it in. Add small amounts of water and stir it very well before adding any more. Use the back of the spoon to break up any lumps and to help it to mix. Continue adding in small amounts of water and mixing it really well. You want the mixture to be able to clump together. To avoid colouring your hands, put on the disposable gloves. Squeeze the mixture and it should stay clumped together, but not be too soggy. To make a bicarb egg, start by grabbing some mixture and pressing it into your hand. Then take the plastic dinosaur and push it in and grab another bit of mixture and press it around. Press the mixture firmly but gently when you're shaping it as it will still be quite crumbly. Make sure any pointy bits of the plastic dinosaur like the legs and the tail are covered over and the shape is roughly symmetrical. Treat the eggs very gently as they are still quite fragile and they can crumble very easily. Repeat the process, making as many eggs as your mixture will allow. There are two ways to hatch your dinosaur eggs. First of all, you can break it open. The second way is to fizz it open. To fizz your dinosaur egg open, you'll need some more equipment. You'll need some vinegar, a bowl or container, some newspaper, and you might also like to use a cup and an eyedropper. Squirt the vinegar onto your bicarb egg and watch what happens. The bicarbonate soda reacts with the vinegar to produce lots of carbon dioxide gas really quickly, which makes it fizz. This takes a little while to uncover your dinosaur, so you might not be so patient. If you can't wait to see your dinosaur, you might like to try pouring on the vinegar instead. Maybe we should have used a bigger bowl though. The second kind of dinosaur eggs we're going to show you how to make are rocky eggs. To make rocky eggs, you'll need the following equipment. Some newspaper, a bowl or container, a spoon, some plastic dinosaurs, a tray or something else to put the finished eggs on, and some water. You'll also need equal parts of sand, flour, ground coffee, 
and half part of salt. You may also like to put some baking paper onto the tray. In your bowl, add in the equal parts of sand, flour, ground coffee and the half part of salt. Mix these dry ingredients together well. We've used about three quarters of a cup of sand, flour and coffee and about one third of a cup of salt. Pour in small amounts of water, stirring really well after each addition, making sure that everything is getting wet. You want the mixture moist enough to stick together like a cookie dough. Take small handfuls of the mixture and shape it around the dinosaur making sure that any pointy bits like the tail and the legs are covered. Repeat this process until all of your mixture has been used up. Place the finished eggs onto the tray. If you're keen to see your dinosaur, you can squish it open straight away. If you don't mind waiting a little bit longer, you might like to dry out the rocky eggs so then they look a bit more like the fossilised eggs that we find today. You can either leave them in a dry sunny spot for a few days to make sure that they're nice and dry, or with an adult's help, you could bake the eggs in a very low temperature oven, 100 degrees or less is best, and only need to be in there for 10 to 15 minutes. Make sure you keep a close eye on them though. Once they're dry, you can now break them open to hatch them. The drier the eggs are, the more effort it will take to open them, so you might need to use something like a hammer. Ours are more like chewy biscuits. Now you've made dinosaur eggs two ways, you might like to find out some more about them. For example, how old are the oldest dinosaur eggs ever found? Where have dinosaur eggs been found? Were dinosaur eggs rough or smooth? What did dinosaur nests look like? Were all dinosaur eggs the same shape? And what colour were dinosaur eggs? Do some research and see if you can answer these questions. Thanks for watching this Palms video. For more fun, hands on earth science activities, check out our website palms.edu.au.